Yes. There we go. Excellent. Um, so I'm kind of expecting Sompakunku to go uh, Russia. <laughs> because Sompakunku really likes the civilization in Russia. It's one of his mains, I think, at least in team. Um, Apparently not going to go India. India. Oh, there it is. Yep, Russia. Good call. Yeah, I, uh, I've i talked with uh, Sompakunku uh, about Russia a lot, actually even in real life. And uh, his love for Russia is one that will never fade, I think. And uh, Sue coming up from Jeremuno. Oh, no, he says not Sue. <laughs> a death down Sue. Okay, maybe he just wanted to pick on something and... We did see a couple Sioux games yesterday, didn't we? How did they do? I don't remember. Uh, this is still round of 16, I think, on Parallel Rivers. Uh, this is still a best of one indeed. So uh, I think this is the fourth Parallel Rivers game. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do here in a row and uh, should actually be the last one as well Aztecs, okay okay this should be an interesting matchup oh, I was trying to click on your ready button it didn't work <laughs> if that would work that would be quite OP <laughs> Jeremuno saying he wish he could go Malta, which is a Wars of yeah, Liberty he's, Civ. He's got uh, the extra civilizations installed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going into Sompakunku versus Jeremuno here. Russia versus Aztecs, uh, once again on parallel rivers. And, um, well, I don't think Russia needs much of an introduction. We've seen it a few times in a row now, and uh, we've decided that uh, it's uh, a reasonable good shift since uh, their villager training bonus uh, definitely uh, comes to their full potential with two uh, town centers. Aztecs is one I, one I haven't seen yet. I think it's on right now on Escape, Escape TV, but uh, personally yet, maybe it can be really good with the fertility dance. Yeah, I think Escape or Escape Aztecs have a lot of options here with um fertility dance and, and they, they generally have some pretty good ac economic builds that they can go for um uh, maybe potentially some kind of fast industrial from them uh, with the extra defense of a second town center mm. yes let's see if there is a if it hunts hunts spawn yeah potentially a hunt spawn issue uh let's jerry complaining about oh. that they didn't. That is pretty bad. He, he was too early with... Uh... Ah, he got it figured out. I think I'd, I I'd let that go. Yeah, if he's fine with it, he lost like two seconds. Yeah. Laying down a fire pit in his second town center, right beside his first one, uh, in the Aztec base on the right side of the map. Um, and on the left yes. side of the map, uh, Sampu doing a similar thing with his town center, just right up in front of his uh, kind of second herd here and laying down a market right away. Yeah, so it seems like both uh, these players are just opting for a normal uh, placed town center uh, close to their original one and not going uh, over the edge or over the river or uh, going too aggressive or far out on the map. Um, and I think um, that maybe right now the fertility dance is actually better than the XP dance since, well, you get double the bonus from two town centers. Yeah, uh, I guess it depends whether he's going to actually train villagers out of both town centers. And it looks like he is. Yeah, he's course. got two villagers queued. Um, so at least for now, I, I think that's the right move to train a, a couple out of the, um, at least for a few batches, train out of both town centers. Uh, that certainly yeah. makes more sense than spending the same amount of resources to queue them up sequentially in one town center. Yeah, exactly. So it, it always saves you resources to build a few out of both of them. But the question is if you want to go, if you want to keep building out of both town centers, if you're on like 500 or 600 food, because then it starts to delay your age up. Yeah. Um, but I think for Aztecs, it may actually be necessary to build out of both town centers just to keep up with the Russian eco, because 
Liverpool is going to to skip any villagers, and I think he's just going uh, like Conqueror was with uh, a little bit of a delayed age up, but just build blockhouses and uh, try to defend with that. Um, it's already pretty hard to rush Russia, so um, more economic approach with two town centers is maybe the way to go. Yeah, uh, for Russia though, at least in the early game, I, I think it's going to be pretty difficult for them to even have enough food to maintain full villager production out of both town centers. Uh, when I've played Russia in the past, I feel like I struggle a lot to always have enough food to maintain villager production, even out of one town center. Um, so I think that is a potential problem for them on this patch. We, we keep saying how Russia is pretty good because of their uh, two town centers, but I, I think it can be a little bit of a challenge for them to maintain the production. Yeah, uh, that may be true. Um... <laughs> the game mode needs practice, yeah. So Jeremy probably has no clue what he's doing. He's just improvising on the spot. <laughs> um, but, of course, Sompakunku <laughs> does... Yeah, and, and Sapu is saying real. here... Yeah. That, uh, uh, he does have hunting dogs, and I think now that Sompakunku has like 15 villagers on food, he should be able to just build villagers continuously. But, uh, yeah, definitely going to be a delayed age up. We did see both players here pick them, picked up most of the goats from their respective sides, but Sampu missed one goat on his side, and it looks like Jeremuno is going to pick that up now, um, which is yeah, I think nice little bonus case of, of stuck on a cliff and then uh, didn't spot it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, missed one guard the goat. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it looks like some people already going to hunt in his third hunt <laughs> after four minutes. Uh, because, well, he's he's just chewing through them with hunting dogs and so many filters already. 23. Yeah, now and economic theory is sending eco theory, which we've seen a few times with Russia. That seems to be a very good card. And we see Furrier coming out from Aztecs. That's what this card's oh, called, that's, right? It's 15%, I believe, to, to hunting. And yeah, that's by, pretty substantial. Oh yeah, 50% yeah, to hunting and 20 to berry uh, eating. So even in the later game, he may be able to eat berries a bit more effectively. Um, yeah, that should give him a nice you know, 4,000 food reserve of berry bushes in the back of his base here that's pretty easily defensible if he's expecting some pressure and running out of hunts. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a nice card. And... Uh, I'm really wondering what they're going to do because Jeremino admitted he's got no game plan. He's got no <laughs> idea what he's doing. <laughs> so Kunku is now building a blockhouse, like literally right next to his town center, on top of it even. Um, and uh, I'm not quite sure either. We will have to see what his first shipment is. That's going to be uh, going to show something of his uh, his plan in this game. Yeah, three warrior priests coming out for Jeremino here. So he's he's going for a very economic build here. A little bit of a boom behind these two town centers. Yeah, he's probably uh, building more warrior priests now, and once he has done ten of them, I think he would go either XP dance or fertility dance. Um, yeah, both seem like good options. Um, it is is there any way to tell what uh, dance he's doing? Um, I are? think I think the color of the flames. Uh, to tell you that okay well <laughs> that doesn't help and, me and, and, and there are a few uh few dances that actually show up on the ui in like the scoreboard yeah but, uh not one he's doing right now but i think he's doing warrior dance he's already got one two three four five six warriors so um what's going on in russia's base doing... over here there's a burning foundation which i assume was a partial blockhouse that he decided he didn't want and now has laid down a stable okay so yeah, probably going for uh, infantry cavalry bonus. Yeah, so it looks like both players have a little bit of a maybe lacking plans for their game plan here, uh, where uh, Sampu changed his mind about what military building to build, and I, I don't think he scouted anything that made him change his mind there. Uh, five Cossacks coming out, and there's also cows here. Did so Sampu age up with the uh, two villager four cow age up to age two. But isn't that really bad if you already have like 30 villagers? Yeah, I would think so. He, yeah, it, and it was the naturalist uh, politician, yeah. so I think that's what he did. 
I think the best one would be actually each of 700 food um, and 400 wood. Like like this, the, the HF that only costs 700 food because uh, that actually speeds up your HF a little bit. Which yeah, that, that grants awesome. 400 food as well. And he's been complaining about having a lack of food and it looks like he's running out of hunts in his base. So that extra oh. 400 food and 100 less food to spend would have been a big bonus for him. And now five Puma are out, um, and even some warriors for Jirumino, and he's uh, able to easily repel this attack from some Pukunku with two Town Center Fire warriors and a Puma uh, Spearman. Yeah, this pressure is really just not enough. Um, I, I, I guess the Sanfu is really going for this more for the cows than the two villagers, as just to have some more food later in the game uh, in his base, but yeah, those but... are going to take a long time to fatten. Yeah, and... I'm not quite sure. He's not eating it now. It's very slowly fattening. He's got no lift stock pen. It looks like he's now building another blockhouse all the way back. Uh, wow. I, I guess using that to just secure this hunt in mine, but mostly yeah. the hunt. That's an expensive investment, the blockhouse. Exactly. It's uh, in terms of using it for uh, production, it's uh, not in a great position. Yeah, it really only secures that one hunt, and that's going to be gone pretty quickly with uh, all of these food upgrades with steel traps. Yeah, so the Cossacks have now been scouted. Yeah, so Jirumuno is now aging to the third age. Uh, some Pukunku uh, is now gathering up his gold, gold crates and is going to age up after that. So That's the shaman age up. I'm not sure what that does, to be honest. Um, shaman... <laughs> That's a hard one. Uh, <laughs> Russia putting some walls down here. Uh, this, this seems like quite a hard map to wall up, though. There's really not a lot of natural barriers. Uh, although there's this river, it's just you can walk across most of it. Um, and the cliffs really aren't too helpful here. Yeah. Uh, the Shaman is the one that gives you a war hut and more hit points to your war huts. And I think it should now give a, a noble's hut, Trafwa. Okay, that seems quite good. Both a war hut and a noble's hut? Uh, I'm not quite sure because this is the SmackDown patch and yeah. this has all been changed. So uh, we'll have to see once it pops out. Um, looks like Sompu wants to go for a little bit of a raid here, but this base is uh, well well defended. And there are a lot of Puma Spearmen, actually. Yeah, like, I, I would actually like this a little better if those Pumas were kind of spread out along the base here. Sompu did get in and get you know kind of one hit against the villager here, and I think that could have been avoided if those... Uh, Pumas weren't yeah. all in one place. Then again, maybe you wanted to catch the, the Cossacks off guard and wanted to like surprise them. So Yeah, maybe. Okay, May's so he's coming almost out, H up. And uh, he's, um, he's starting to push out a little bit here and I, I guess expecting to push further once he ages up and gets some upgrades. Yeah, and Sompu already in the third age now, of course, who's the fast age up politician. There it is, a Nobles Hood two Nobles Hood Trahua, actually. So that's... Uh, it's like 600 resources at least. Yeah, that seems quite good. And even more HP, so that's a bonus, I I guess. <laughs> this wall is getting ridiculous, to be honest. Yeah, he's this is kind of crazy. On the river here. <laughs> it looks like he's may not delete these pillars too. He's just gonna let it go. Um, yeah, it it costs you a lot of APM to kill them if you don't have like a hotkey uh, to select all pillars. So. Yeah. Which is a built-in hotkey, so I, I would think he should have that as a, a high-level level yeah. player as Sampu. But... That is uh, true. Um, and the, the Nova set actually uh, have quite a bit of HP, so that that's... Uh, I guess it, this is a good fortification here. That's yeah. Better. It has, like, the HP of the town center. Live and War Priests? Wait. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Not really sure how he, how he managed that. How is that possible? <laughs> you can only train 10 of them. Because he shipped the he three shipped... right away, didn't he? So... Yeah, he shipped them before he had 10. Did he just train another one? Just. I, I don't think um, you can. I thought they had a build limit of 10. Yeah, there should be a build limit. Why is he not using that last warrior priest? You can it's only put 10 idle. on the fire pit. Because they take up really? more space than a villager on, on the limit. Um, so that but, fire pit is actually maxed out with the 10 warrior priests, so it's just 
eleventh one really can't do anything, even though he has it. But, but there's space for twenty-five villagers on it. Yeah, but somehow so. the warrior priests take up more space. Okay, this sounds very weird to me, but uh, okay, it looks like there's a fight going on. Um, looks like those falconets are doing a lot of damage against the, the maces. They did a lot of damage, but it looks like they are going to get taken down by these ERKs. Um, Both of them actually may go down here. Oh, uh, no. Jeremuno pulling out. Yeah, I think he should have just let those uh, runner knights uh, suicide for that falconet. That would have been more effective. Um, that fight, I think, went really pretty well for Jeremuno, considering uh, the way those yeah. militaries looked before. Um, <laughs> and this... Oh, he's blocked the, the wall with his dead explorer. <laughs> The hero died at the perfect spot, <laughs> blocking that wall there. So There's no way that was uh, intentional, so... was it? No, I don't think so, but uh, Sopagungu now has to spend at least like five seconds to to re re rebuild the wall, so that's that's good. Um, no, 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 really running out of food here. I think he's going to have to push out. I guess he's probably going to head for this one next. Uh, he's building a war hut here, but there is a blockhouse right, right north of that and a stable as well, so... I think he's going to have a hard time pushing out. I guess he's gathering back here um, and building a war hut. Those Cossacks didn't quite find that group of villagers. Um, it looks like Sompakunku is just slowly claiming the whole map and uh, making sure that Jirumuno doesn't have too much space to uh, to build and, uh, and gather in. Yeah, he's, he's quite far ahead in eco now and a little bit ahead in military. Um, so I think he's going to be able to really, really maintain this map control and, and give Jirumuno a hard time. Yeah, um, and looks like we're going to have another fight here. The Falconet is uh, not on a lot of HP, so immediately we'll get taken down by the Eagle Runner Knights. And uh, now the fight is actually in Jirumuno's favor, I think. Some Coyote here to deal with the Strelets. And there's not even a gate, so Sompu can't get even out of this fight if he wants to. Yeah, he could always build a gate real quickly, though. Um, he has enough wood for it. Yeah, and there it is. Uh, but he's losing a lot of units in the in the process here. Yeah, that's uh, a lot Coyote of units definitely doing, doing, uh, doing the attack dance, uh, I think, Jeremino, yeah. And uh, boosting his units even further. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to be able to contest here. the Strelet mass, mass, though. The Strelets, I think, are considerably better than the Mace. Oh, maybe not. Well, with the war dance, uh, they are not that bad, I think. Um, I, yeah, I don't really know why he, added, uh, why he added Arrow Knight, since the Falconets were already down at that point. And, uh, well, I kind of think those are there to help with the, the wall. walls. Yeah. Okay, so there's Knight Attack, which definitely uh, is a good card for him. Tapu taking down some bills back here uh, with his Cossacks, but I think he's going to lose those Cossacks to this Eagle Runner Knight mass. Oh, this raid! Oh, this raid! Oh, oh, this no. might be GG. This, if if he catches these, that's a lot of Eagle bills. Oh, he runs right by them. Eagle Runner Knight is going bill. in to save them. Oh, he's going to get out of here. Those could have done so much okay, more so two damage. Two fills down, three fills down. Four fills, five fills, six fills. Okay, so I think he lost like six villagers there. In the meantime, uh, this noble hut is getting seized, but by Strelas, so it's going yeah. very slowly. Uh, that was a significant raid, but not as game ending as I think it could have been. Although Jeremuno walking yeah. straight up into this blockhouse up here, there's, there's no way he can actually sit here and hunt. He's really got to get out of there. Although he, he's taking his arrow knights to contest this, this blockhouse, he, he really wants this hunt. Yeah, he really needs to have it. Only other place to hunt is here, and it's not really well accessible by a lot of villagers. here, so... Yeah, and more uh, raids coming in raid... right into the base. Uh, getting caught by some coyote runners, but I, I think they're going to clean up the coyotes and be able to take down some bills. Uh, these Strelets oh, headed home. It just popped out before the blockhouse Ooh. went down, and now even more villagers are getting sniped off here. Uh, Sopunko, meanwhile, is on 91 economic unit population, so... Yeah, the economic uh, damage here is really becoming pretty significant. More Oprishniks coming out and going to catch some more Vils as they try to run away, and even more Vils, the ones that we're hunting right here at this war hut. So, uh, yeah. Jeremuno is really in a, a tough position here now with, with really nowhere to hunt other than this back corner. Um, and 
at a pretty sig not I guess not significant, but at a, a slight military disadvantage. Although the, if these coyote knights can catch the the strelit mass, that's that's going to be a huge swing. There's really nothing oh, to deal with these coyotes. Oh, definitely, and those coyotes are pretty well upgraded. Um, Two cav archers coming out, but that's not enough to deal with those coyotes. Those coyotes will clean up that mass easily. Yeah, the coyotes are now on uh, 31 damage actually, which is uh, quite big. So they're definitely able to do a lot of damage there. Uh, then managed again, to get some, some good positioning here actually, and yeah. is is managed to slow this down. Some ERKs coming in to help with the uh, cav archers, but I don't know. This is a close fight now. But in the end, Zombokunku still has like twice the economy of Tiramuno. He's got Eco Fury behind it, uh, and don't forget, he's still got the four cows. And there's almost halfway fed it now. <laughs> those those cows oh. are never going to come into play. This game is yeah, not going to last that long. Uh, oh. I don't think that was a, a solid move, that age of Manchu no. coming out. I mean, as, as many battles as Jiramuna wants to win, when he has half the eco, I don't know how he can continue to contest this. And, and really nowhere to hunt. He's now fighting Cossacks with Arrow Knights, which is not what you want to be doing. Um, lo losing his only hunt to an Okrishnik raid. Uh, several vills going down here, although cleaning yeah. up the Oprishniks. I, I don't know what he's going to do at this point. He really can't push into this wall. Um, Sompokungu is now going for the late game uh, setup, building even more stables, two more stables, and two, two artillery, artillery foundries. What are you going to do yeah, with those? So, <laughs> 99 villagers, now 101, it says, recalculated. And uh, so basically, he's only saving resources by now. He's only stacking it, except if he spends it on uh, expensive units. So uh, I guess he just wants to go for the late game composition, probably going to throw in some falconets in there, and then go in with... Uh, Strelets and, and, and Cossacks and everything. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, Jeremuno has pushed out a little bit, and I, I think he has managed to make some of these hunts look a little safer back here and over here. They, the hunts have kind of moved toward his base, and uh, some of the blockhouses have been sieged down. Um, so he's feeling a little better, I think, a little more comfortable, although I don't see him... He's got 18 bills on food somewhere. I guess that's just on his uh, berries. Yeah, and now finally the Farrier card comes into play. Uh, yeah. 20% to very gathering. Still not as fast as hunting, so not the, the, the thing he would prefer. Big fight um, here. Um, and I think, yeah. Really just looks like a cleanup for Sampu Tanku. Yep. Jermuno pulling yeah, out of there. Exactly. There's nothing he can do. He's coming out fine, and yep. uh, there and is the GG. Jermuno has resigned after almost 20 minutes in this signing game. Yeah, this was a good game. Um, again, Russia showing how strong they, they can play here on, on this patch. Um, as we've seen in several games here today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you look at the villager count graph here, and uh, Sampu Kanku was getting steadily ahead, and then, and then finally started raiding and just got absolutely double the economy and, and there's just not much Jeremuno can do at that point if we look at resources yeah, gathered russia we just, see the same kind of thing russia taking off in the late game russia just skills so well and uh, definitely showing once again uh, in this game